Okay, now coming in at number five in my top five game of the year list for 2023 is Hogwarts Legacy. Now, this game launched February 10th, 2023, and it was such a pleasant surprise to me. I knew the game would be good. I didn't realize I'd be so immersed and enjoy the game as much as I did. You know, it was really faithful to the source material, which is obviously Harry Potter. Um, it was a nice trip down memory lane with a lot of the references that you hear in the film um, in the game as well it was a great story great narrative amazing visuals on the playstation 5 absolutely loved it you know it was great because at the same time as myself playing it my son was playing it and he finished the story i had to create my daughter because she was adamant that she wanted to watch the game but i had to play as her which is what i did and it was a lot of fun, you know, um, great combat, great narrative, great visuals, great sound, great um, source material usage as well. Um, so Hogwarts Legacy was at number five for me. Okay, now moving on to number four. Now this game actually launched the year before in 2022, but I didn't get around to playing it until 2023. Hence why it's in my list. That's how I roll people. Rebellion. Let's talk about Rebellion, who developed the Sniper Elite series. Yes, Sniper Elite 5 is at my number 4. I love these games. They just make minor tweaks with each iteration. And I just love it. You know, it's like a small sandbox and you're a sniper. Stealth is everything. You don't have to play as stealth. Um, I absolutely loved this game, especially the online component when I could invade other people's um, games and take them out. I spent so many hours playing this game great visuals story you don't really pay attention to the story in sniper really it's always the same thing about taking down the nazi regime um the combat is fluid it's the same as it is it wants you to fight from distance you know or take stealth takedowns which is a lot of fun because you can look at an area plan your series of attacks that you're going to get through it and then you work your way through using noise and sounds as a distraction absolutely love the game and I just took my time playing it and I realized I was taking up to two, three hours per level because I wanted to achieve every goal in that level before an objective before moving on. And they do that really well in this series, a set objectives that you can get through to move forward into the next level. And as I go back to the online mode, the invasion, unbelievable, absolutely loved it. There was nothing better than somebody coming into your map and you set in traps for them to fall into and then you take them out and vice versa when you go into theirs and you're trying to set traps and trying to blend in to get close to them to take them out i remember one example where me playing a level and i was getting towards the end and somebody came into my map and i was like oh god i was so close to finishing the level and it was like a 40 minute standoff before just the littlest move allowed me to take the invader out great game so number four on my game of the year is Sniper Elite 5. At number three, so it makes the top three for my game of the year for 2023, is Spider-Man 2 from Insomniac Games. Now, if you go back to last year, um, or the beginning of this year, sorry, and listen to the most anticipated games of 2023, Spider-Man was my number one. I was really looking forward to the game and it lived up to my expectations. It was everything I wanted from a Spider-Man game, which was bigger, bolder. It looked more beautiful. The combat was absolutely insane. And the narrative of that game was great. It finishes at number three just because the two games above it for me just did that little bit more for me at the time but as i played spider-man 2 i really enjoyed it i was engrossed in it i was thinking about it when i wasn't playing it which is one of the highest accolades you can give to a game yourself when you are playing it it's an absolute stunning game so many people have played it so many people have platinum trophied it you know we spoke about it on the news stories as well but spider-man 2 better than the first game and miles in every way the traversal is unbelievable. The visuals are stunning. The sound is amazing. The narrative is great. Tick, 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 tick. All across. Lived up to my anticipated, hello? anticipated 
expectations as I put it at number one for that and it finishes at number three for my game of the year of 2023. Okay as we move on to the top two at number two for my game of the year is Dead Space Remake. A remake yep this game came out right at the beginning of 2023 which I think it was January 27th the game came out and oh man I mean everything you want in a remake just look at resident evil 4 everything that people loved about that remake dead space did in the dead space remake motive studio who developed it did a wonderful job to recreate the horrors of that first game um visually unbelievable the sound especially in the headset scary the combat as you know just nerve-wracking as it always has been the ishimura um is the ultimate character in the game it is an unbelievable oh my god people if you haven't played dead space remake you need to get your hands on ea play for just 3.99 a month and play dead space remake it's one of the games that you can play i loved it you know the first game always finishes high on a list for me and i was a bit scared and worried about the remake and how it was going to play and how it was going to be pulled off by the development studio but they took their time and what they gave us was an absolutely stunning remake and it was number one on my list until this next game came out but dead space remake was my second best game of the year for 2023 highly recommend you play it highly recommend you play every game on this list but definitely dead space remake if you are faint hearted or don't like scary games give it a miss otherwise play it man it's one of the best horror games out there so we come to number one ladies and gentlemen and if we run down the list at number five we had hogwarts legacy at number four we had sniper elite five at number three we had spider-man 2 and at number two we had the dead space remake so at number one it's a psvr2 game ladies and gentlemen yes a vr2 game is my number one game of the year is from realities.io inc it's puzzling places now you're probably thinking what over spider-man what what but i'll go back to what i said at the beginning of the episode how you feel at the time when you play the game is something big and i loved this game i felt like i was iron man in jarvis i felt like tom cruise in minority report if you have a psvr2 headset you owe it to yourself to download and play puzzling places it is just a simple jigsaw game that's all it is the jigsaws you create are obviously in 3d models and you're just picking and taking them off a wall and putting them together but it's just the interactivity of the game the fact that you can pick up pictures on the floor and you can have a look from different angles how you need to create it you create the jigsaw as you bring that completed jigsaw puzzle piece that you're putting together you can hear the sounds from it and you can click them together it's just an absolute escape from reality that's what playstation vr2 and any vr headset is all about escaping reality and puzzling places was unbelievable is still unbelievable to a point where i don't want to rush it i haven't even finished it i just do one or two jigsaws a week because i just don't want the game to end i absolutely love it so for me 2023 my game of the year is puzzling places for playstation vr2 